Discipline, man. It's just a grind. I just knew in the back of my mind, like, man, if you putting this much time in this all day, you're not doing nothing else. One day it's gotta work. Metro Boomin wants some more. Man, like my mom, like, play a lot of Tupac. Like, we f with Tupac a lot growing up. There's a whole lot of other producers and a lot of stuff with heavy, like, you know, Dre, Pharrell, shit like that. Three Six Mafia, like, they beats, like, it when nothing else I ever heard sound like that. Definitely influenced me a whole lot. They're legends. Not just off of all the hits and all the shit they made, but just by being culture icons. And that's why I look to be, like, a culture icon. I'm all around, I'm a musician, so the rap, you know, that's just, that's what I like. That's what I was raised on, so. A lot of times I get on like, Apple Music, whatever, and just go and shuffle through different genres just to spark ideas. I wanted to be a rapper when I was younger, so you gotta buy beats and pay for it. I ain't had any money for that, so I was just trying to make my own beats. I started making beats in the seventh grade. I don't rap. I've been in the studio, I rap out loud all day, but I don't never like record no music. Cause that ain't, ain't what I'm trying to do. I'll fall asleep making beats at home, wake up, do it before I go to school. When I was in high school, I had a song with Ali Boy, Ed Jeezy, and Yo Gotti on it. I remember just being in the back on the computer waiting on the live mixtapes countdown. It made me realize I wanted to make music and just put all my time on that. You know, I'm from St. Louis, so that's just real crazy even being attached to something like that. Like, I hear some people say, like, man, how am I gonna make it? I'm from Cleveland, or how am I gonna make it? I'm in Portland, or don't none of that matter. Like, it's on you. Like, you could do that anywhere. We come to Atlanta like every month. Finish high school and moved there for college. And I was young, it was cool, I was patient. As soon as I got out of class, I'm pulling up to the studio every day. I be in the studio with Future a lot, or Gucci, or Scooter, one of them. And he have a million producers in there trying to play him beats. And, you know, I was just a young or whatever. So he would rap on my sh some days, but then some days he was my whole night and be sitting there and not rap on that night. Not even get to play nothing, you know? Sometimes you get pissed off. Like, man, f this, I'm pulling up on Gucci, man. He be rapping on my sh This sh be mad, it's like that. It just made me work harder. The leader go back to the door and make even more beats. You just gotta be a machine. I live with Sonny Digital. He was one of the people who was telling me, like, I was always complaining about how I ain't like school and all this and that. He was just be like, man, if you don't like it that much, then, you know, stop going. Before I dropped out, Future dropped Karate Chop. And living in Atlanta and just watching how crazy I started going, like, I remember that forever. It made me realize I went and put all my time on that instead of trying to split with the two and slack at both of them. Like, started just full time with the music. I was living in the dorm, so there's nowhere to live anymore. Like six months later or something like that, I got my own apartment and just the fact that I can make a living off that and take care of my family and myself like that, it's just, it's unreal. It's something I always did for free, and I was always fine with doing it for free. And if I were to have to do it for free again, I would be fine with that. It's almost like I'm not doing anything, but I am, you know? So it's just a real blessing to be able to do that, because I think about how it could be, how it is for a lot of people. Since I started DJing like over a year ago, selling out hard tickets and, and people coming with me and people stopping me everywhere, Shit like that, when you see how it affects people, that's when I started to realize, like, okay, I don't want to say I was in denial about it, but just like people would tell me these kind of things for a long time, but you don't realize a lot of things. I just feel like, cause I got four younger brothers and sisters, and then I be at my shows, I see how young a lot of these kids are, like they're kids. If you in that spotlight and you know the kids looking at you, then it's like, okay, you be a tastemaker to do this or do that. Like it's Metro Boomer, you could make it cool to do drugs or do this, or you could be like, just having a positive time, fun time, you know? Cause that's really what it's about. 
changing their moods, making them feel better, making them forget their problems. You know, music's a medicine, so it's everything positive. And you become legendary by making your own way, not trying to be nobody else, ride nobody else's way, watch nobody else and, and what they're doing. You be a legend just by, you know, looking straight ahead.